If told you this was a, a testicle, you would have every reason not to believe me because you don't see anything that looks like normal testis. You don't see seminiferous tubules. You don't see interstitial cells. You don't see Leydig cells. What you see instead is something that looks very much like an adenocarcinoma. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, how can you have an adenocarcinoma of the testis, uh, some of which looks almost papillary, doesn't it, if the testis normally doesn't have glands? Well, that's a good observation. This type of tumor is called embryonal car carcinoma. It is a germ cell tumor just like the seminomas are, just like the yolk sac tumors are, just like the choriocarcinomas are, because it is a tumor of the cells that give rise to the sperm or the germ cells. And specifically, it is not a tumor of the other types of cells in the testis that do not give rise to germ cells, like the Leydig cells or interstitial cells. In the old days, and still now, if you look at some of the older classifications, another name for embryonal carcinoma is adenocarcinoma because most embryonal carcinomas have uh, many of these glandular-like features. They are not true epithelial glands, but as a malignant, as you could see, by virtue of its haphazardly infiltrating type uh, appearance, it is a um, malignancy of the germ cells. And no matter where you go, you'll see things that look like either little asini or little papillary features, as well as other uh, primitive type cells which may not form glands. But the, the reason why I'm focusing on the glandular areas is because it is the only common germ cell tumor in which a, uh, glandular-like structures are a common feature. And that's what I want you to remember about the embryonal carcinomas, that uh, they almost always have many, uh, if not even predominantly, uh, glandular features. And um, I think that's all I want to say about this case. We could probably look at a, a few more glands. We could notice the fact that there is nothing left on this slide that looks like normal testis. Uh, all embryonal carcinomas are malignant and they all behave the way any other primary malignancy of the testis would behave with uh, metastases not to the inguinal lymph nodes but the periaortic. Thank you very much.